places without worrying about my disability getting in the way. And I can finally feel independent. He is my independent. I was really looking forward to uh, being able to do things on my own again. I actually have Eddie, who's a golden retriever, and he is training to be a service dog for a child with autism. I have hypoglycemia, and so my sugars randomly um, plummet. Um, he actually alerts me right when my sugar is about to drop, and then he'll do excessive alerts when it's low. Deep pressure therapy, finding exits and benches are his main tasks. A lot of people don't believe that you have a disability. In the sort of invisible disability community, one of the things we talk about is like, we're not faking that we're sick. There are many different disabilities that can be helped and managed with the aid of a service dog. Many of these disabilities are invisible ones. I face a lot of businesses, they see me come in and they see that I'm not blind, that I don't have any mobility issues, and they tell me that I can't be here. You don't look disabled, it's just one of my peeves. It's like, how does a disabled person look like? Anders alerts me just about every day. He has saved my life on low blood sugars on multiple occasions. I can help myself to not be dependent on other people. And it's important to me. 